Hello, so today we're going to talk about how information design can support service design process and especially like how information design tool can support the collaboration and the co-design process. A brief introduction, I'm Serena, today with me there's Jacopo and we are a service and experience designer for Oblo. Oblo is um, our hyper-specialized service design studio, we're based in Milan and we, we have designed through the, year, through the years like many different kinds of services from public to private, but some of the examples are um, we have been working on a digital transformation process a project for Doctor Without Borders and um, I've recently led a research project in Zambia to map the healthcare supply chain and to understand how to better design a strategy that is more sustainable for the Ministry of Health. Generally, I'm interested in how service design can support organization in their transformation process and also how information design can really like help, can be like uh, a tool in our skills as service designer. Hi, I'm Jacopo and recently I've been working on a service um, design uh, system for mapping flowcharts and uh, dynamic, uh, with dynamic perspectives. Another w project I'm working on is an AI-based system for uh, um, let people invest their money autonomously. My um, idea is that a visualization is that is a tool to align everyone's perspective on board. So why today are we bringing our perspective of uh, service and experience designers uh, uh, into a data visualization conference? Well, we manage complexity in our project because uh, we don't uh, used to uh, deliver a single object or a single artifact, but we have to manage ecosystems and uh, handle all the, com all the complexity that involves users, stakeholders, physical spaces, digital products, backend systems and processes. So it's impossible by ourselves to manage all of these elements and uh, we need to um, involve other, other experts and other people to help us to have an uh, overall vision of, of all of these different layers of the service. We do that involving the, our stakeholders and uh, experts to share their views and to um, collaborate to make um, an overview of the assessment of the, of the system. So in this case, visualization is a tool to align all of these views and all of these layers and align every person who is involved in the project to collaborate in code design activities. To go a bit more into details and like into practical example, we use uh, tools like System Map. System Map, they describe all the elements that are involved in the experience delivery. So we have all these different bricks like the stakeholder, the people that are involved, the touch point they use that can be apps, but even like really physical object. And then we understand how these things are connected, how they exchange values, and what are the processes that connect all the different elements. Defining the right level of granularity of details of a map is extremely important in this context because then um, it defines if the map is actually actionable and it brings value for the user and to um, really make the conversation happen. If we would try to like map everything that it's in the system, then it would be too complex and maps will become something that is really complex to read, but especially it will be something really complex to bring users in and let them ex like talk and discuss. We want to explore with you like how we, um, we use system map and how they can change from when we use system map in the research phase of a project and since arriving to the actual like uh, strategy and in implementation of a service. When we use system map during the research phase, it's really important to uh, understand how the system works and to illustrate that. That's the moment where all the pain point, all the opportunity will come out. And, oh, sorry. Um, but also like um, we will then map all the elements of the system and the flows that are like visible to the end user and that they are experienced. In this moment, we will also like highlight what are the backend links and what are the things that are not visible like informatic connection 
usually is there that we have the most like of the gaps or the pain point that it's important to make them visible. We will bring then those map to the table with all the different stakeholders where people that are actually implementing glass service like in public administration, like in this case, can have a discussion and bring their views and understanding how to move on with the strategy. Another example from the research phase is uh, when we want to really like focus the user attention on the correlation between some part in the system. Um, for example, like here we wanted to uh, understand like how like the change of a process in an upstream phase of the supply chain can have an impact on the downstream or how the data um, collection is impacted if we change a kind of software on a kind of an IT system. Again, this is not so straightforward as it might seem. It's like the result of like a long research process, but also the result of the synthesis of multiple maps that brings on together multiple view from like the tech perspective, the IT perspective, the distribution and funds perspective part. Here it's really important like our view as designer because we need to synthesize this information and we are actually already making an interpretation of the map. When we are shifting from the research phase to the strategy and the implementation phase, it's important not only to understand how the system works and how it can be structured, but also like what are its potential impact. Here, as you can see, stakeholders and touch points are kind of hidden behind uh, the more general structure and they become like the backbone to really map all the possible risk, impact and opportunities of the system. And um, we divided them like in four different areas from environmental impact to social impact, governance impact in, uh, inside the, um, the organization and also um, economical impact. Again, here we are not just talking about a map. We talk about the map that it's a picture that it's um, that arrives at the end of a process where we understand before how the system generally work how the things are changing in times and how all the different users can participate to this process. Uh, another step forward to implementation is when we have defined the general like strategy of the service, but then we need to understand how our user need to change their behavior in according to fit this new service. Here, for example, we have uh, a map that depicts a learning community and we can see how students that arrive from being prospect, which is on my other side, uh, from prospect that can become actually like fellows and expert. Here, the connections are extremely important because mark some like um, key transition. This map then will work as an index for like all the other user that needs to, and all other designer that needs to develop, for, for, uh, for example, the experience of a digital journey. And so all the different app that are involved in this learning journey, but also all the technical touch points that are beneath that. Finally, um, when we have a strategy, we also want to explore what are all the possibilities. And we want to understand what are the, all the possible future scenarios for a single service. In this case, we were like showing how an NGO is offering, um, is offering their service to welcome migrants when arriving to Italy. As you can see, there are a lot of different organizations, flows, and like people can actually like go through all of these different steps. What we have done is done is an iteration on this map multiple iteration to really understand what are all the different possibilities and how to make this service as efficient and impacting as well per the, for the people arriving. So what? Our list of case studies and projects we've been involved in so was to generate a reflection uh, about the use we make uh, on uh, visual tools uh, and maps. For us, the maps and the visualizations are not just a delivery, but are a method and an operative tool to manage complexity and to align everything, everyone in the design process. In order to make this shift of considering maps as operative tools, uh, we need to shift a little bit the framework, analyzing what, the, what affects the data dimensions, the dimension, the visualization, 
and the interactive interactivity we apply with the final map. Considering how we collect the data, we don't base our visualization just on data set or quantitative data, but we take advantage of all of our tools and methods as uh, uh, design researchers uh, to um, create data qualitative data sources, like for example, semi-structured interviews with stakeholders, op uh, physical observations on the field, and sometimes we also use uh, digital ethnography to grasp some data uh, from the internet and uh, seeing the phenomena from the dig digital point of view. When it comes to visualizing data, uh, we value most the process and the method of visualization rather than the deliverable itself. So in order to do that, uh, we don't just, sometimes we don't uh, translate the data, the map into a, uh, into a digital form, but we just need to map on paper really roughly to understand the phenomenon and uh, take uh, the insight from our analysis. We also make a lot of iterations. For us, it's super important to uh, see uh, the, the complexity and the phenomenon through different lenses and different point of view that are translated into different layouts and ways of visualizing. So our work is always iterative and there's mm, never a final form of a pers perspective of visualizing the problem. And when it comes to show, share and interact with the maps, we use them uh, as a uh, uh, stimuli. First of all, uh, we use for collaborative session with decision makers and people who need to take decisions uh, in order to help them uh, to prioritize uh, the solution to implement, to implement uh, first. We physically map uh, during the research with stakeholders and users on, on the service uh, as a tool for communication. And internally, we use maps, just reclustering uh, post-its uh, or visual elements to uh, take to synthesize the research and uh, extract uh, insights. In the end, uh, we believe that for us, for our method, uh, the map uh, is not uh, a static form, a static output, but is a Polaroid, an image that represents uh, what we discover in a specific time and uh, in a speci from a, persp a specific perspective. And for us, again, maps are not uh, finished, uh, are never finished, but they are ongoing processes uh, that uh, are just a tool to get to somewhere. And of course, uh, uh, we can't aim to map everything we discover or everything can be known about the system. But uh, what we try with the angle, angles uh, and uh, research uh, and our approach is to find the right angle and the right perspective to highlight the information we care most uh, for the proje project. We are Jacopo and Serena, and you can know further about our work uh, on uh, Oblo website and Instagram page, and also discovering our side projects about elements for visualization of uh, information design on Snippet, Snippets Archive. Thank you.